Lights. Perhaps the greatest part that I have ever played, the Scarlet Pimpernel, would have been one of my greatest moments in the theater. It was the last scene, and I was just about to make my escape. And I was waving my sword, and I was about to say the final line, I am the Scarlet, and then that cell phone. I'll never forget it. I launched myself from the stage at his throat. I was taken to prison. I spent five years with a man named Bubba. He taught me everything I need to know about pain. And I draw on that now. I draw on that pain. A little sword play for a cup. Ah, yes, acting. Some of my best work is done in this direction. Quick, Miles Davis. Well, I'm so glad all of you could be here tonight. Because, damn it, you hardworking people deserve a show. Annoying? Directors? Impossible. I've enjoyed everyone I've ever worked with. You know, because it's important when you're working as an actor to stay humble. To allow a director's vision to come forth. And if I may put my fingers together when I'm talking about this, I think that the overall meaning of the piece is what's important. The actors service that piece, not that they just get off. Now, I fortunately have been cast in some of the greatest roles that have ever been written. Eugene O'Deal, done it all. Perhaps you recognize this one from Tennessee Williams. Boy, it sure is hot, and I am lonely. No? I don't expect a layman to understand. I'll take that blue. <laughs> Now, for a second, if I may. I love amusement parks, as you can tell. I uh, love cotton candy and balloons and uh, everything that comes with them. It's fantastic. Oh, look. Oh, mummy. Mummy, get me this one. I want this one, mummy. You know what they say about a man's balloon. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. There you go. That was lovely. At first I hated your bloody guts to pieces. Then I spent a month alone eating Reese's Pieces. And now I realize there's something in what I imagine of your eyes. I've idealized you completely, and I can't live without you. I can't give without you. I can't. Quive without you. I'll drink until I ruin my liver without you. <laughs> That's my love song. If I was to do a toothpaste marshal, I'd say, mm. Boy, I. Sure feel minty fresh. <laughs> Take him out, yeah. Let's see what your normal teeth look like. These are my normal teeth, of course. This is half my normal teeth. And half normal teeth. 
dirty teeth? No, please. Yeah. Yeah. Back and forth. Uh, these are both. Now at the top. Uh, like that. This was if I was Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> yes, sure. Now you want to come back once you've torn the very guts from me. Once you've impaled me on the pole of your nastiness. Why, I should spit on you. I should vex you and send you to the nunnery or something. And, by the way, when you pulled my entrails out and played double dutch with your friends, <laughs> you thought you had me, didn't you? But no, I rose above it because I'm that kind of spirit. Bigger, better, impossible to beat in every way. And when I've looked at the greats upon the stage, I've stood there in appreciation and said, truthfully, I'm better than them. Musical number. Can't you see how I enjoy acting? Can't you see how I enjoy acting? Ooh, 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 ooh. You people don't deserve me. I thought we were doing the trailer of the movie. That's why I've been pounding my guts out, trying to please you, you impossible bastard. <laughs> I, I can't believe you know that song. You truly surprise me sometimes. You truly do. <laughs> insincerity. Insincerity. take an audience out of themselves into another place in time to transport 